To write the name for CrPO4, the first thing we need to realize is we have this PO4 here. This is the phosphate ion. So we have the phosphate ion, it's a polyatomic ion, and it's bonded to chromium, which is a metal. It's a transition metal. Metal in this group of nonmetals in the phosphate ion, it's an ionic compound, and we can use these rules to write the name for CrPO4. So first, let's write the name of the Cr, the chromium, just as it appears on the periodic table. Next, we're just going to write the name for the polyatomic ion, the phosphate ion, PO4, one you really should remember, lowercase p. So far, we have a name chromium phosphate for CrPO4, but we said that chromium, that's a transition metal. And with transition metals, they can have different ionic charges depending what they're bonded to. So what we need to do is figure the charge of the chromium by looking at the phosphate. So the phosphate, this whole PO4 ion, has a 3 minus ionic charge. So you want to remember that. We have this phosphate ion, 3 minus the chromium has to be 3 plus for this to all add up to 0, give us a net charge of 0. So we're going to write Roman numeral 3 in parentheses between the chromium and the phosphate. And the Roman numeral 3, that represents the charge, that 3 plus, on the chromium here. So the name for CrPO4 is chromium 3 phosphate. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.